Welcome back guys to another tutorial, I hope you are doing well. I know you've been waiting a bit for this one app to USB, but guys here it is. I've taken some time to go ahead and install the packages and copy the packages and I've tested it all out and I want to give you guys a very detailed tutorial as always guys. Alright, um, real quick before we start, I know most of you guys are aware that Leafful has dropped another new update. It's no longer V5 or V6, this time it's a hand test. And as the name suggests, it's still a test. So you guys can go and test it out and I'm gonna go and show that. But guys, don't forget, stay along till the end of the video because I have a quick Q&A idea and a very simple tips that I, it has been going around for quite some time and actually does work a lot. So stick around till the end to find that out and I'm gonna mention that as well. So any, without any further ado, let's go straight into app to usb what you guys have been waiting for. Oh, by the way, guys, Lethal himself actually commented on the video. Thanks for the support of my menus. Lethal, thanks to you and thanks for keeping us updated. You are awesome. So guys, we're going to be covering these particular topics right now for how to configure your app to USB.ini for these scenarios. All right, number one, how to run all your package files straight off from the external hard drive. Number two, how to selectively have maybe one or two of them run from your external hard drive. Number three, how to save a lot of time if you only have the package files. Number four, if you don't have the package files, how to get those package files for games that you already have installed on your PS4 without having to download them all the way from the beginning. But of course, before all that, I'm gonna to explain to you in detail how apt-usb.ini actually works. Okay guys, so this is apt-usb, the configuration file, which is the most important thing for apt-usb because this is what tells apt-usb on how to behave running apt-usb. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm going to go run through all of these things. I'm going to tell you what is important, what's really not that important, what you can just skip through. And the main thing that I would say is something to do with this one and this one. But the rest of them doesn't really, you know, it's not for everyone. All right, so just to just to go through it real quick, I'm going to tell you exactly. Let's just stop with, you know, step one. All right, so guys, this is really important. So this is what it means. When you have these two slashes, that means it is ignored. So right now this is ignored, but then when you remove these lines, it is active. So that's basically what it is. So we're going to put that out because we're going to leave that ignored. So let's talk about the first thing, skip drive. So if you basically have this active, so right now it is active, you're telling app to USB, you know what? Don't do anything on this drive. So just leave this drive aside. That's what skip drive means. Now mount point comes to do if you have multiple drives at the same time, you need to specify internet mount point of the USB. So say if you're using two different uh, external hard drives, which is very unlikely, but if you are, then you can give this one a specific name, like you name them from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just assume that you have two USB drives. So it's like zero and one, but if you have three, then it's like zero, one and two. So right now it's mount point zero because it's the very first USB that I want to use here. But it doesn't really matter because even if I leave this uncommented or because I'm only using one hard drive for this one. So I'm just going to leave it as mount point zero anyhow. So guys, this now is about checking the USB's route for the package files to save time. Because trust me, time is a huge problem here. Uh, copy from the internal PS drive, then uncomment the line below. I would recommend you leave this active. When I say active, no slashes. Because remember, this is active now. Because basically what this does is, for instance, I do have all these games over here. So let's just assume that I installed Mafia 3. So once I install Mafia 3, but let's just say I want app to usb to now make Mafia 3 work from the external hard drive. So with this enabled, it is going to check the hard drive. It's going to check if this Mafia 3 package exists in the hard drive. So if it does exist, then it's going to move the package from the root directly. This is where it is. This is the root from the root to the PS4 folder. So if you look at this folder, this is how it saves the games. Can you see that? It actually saves it this way. And I'm going to show you that in more different experiments soon, but this is what it does. And I would recommend you to leave this um, active. All right. So rename the app, not really necessary. It doesn't really matter. 
disable meta so now it talks about icons and arts and sounds and stuff so let's just see if i have something out here okay for example right now i do have yakuza that is running from app to usb it's on the external hard drive if i tap this can you see the icons and the pictures and blah 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 all this stuff is backed up into this uh the folder because this is still active right now ignore updates so if you do have game updates it's going to copy that as well so it depends upon you if you want to leave the updates on the ps4 or if you want it on the external hard drive so that's what updates so the updates the dlc and these three things over here it's all about the extra stuff from the package so we don't really need to worry about that as mentioned but however guys now this part is important okay to use this list as a list of games you want to move and not ignore then uncomment the line before so it's kind of a, a tricky statement over here but let me break it down for you so you see this over here this is game title names the way it saves game titles as you can see here however this is directly linked to this particular when it says move mode so right now it's on ignore mode so if this is ignored it automatically e equals ignore but if this is active it means move yeah Okay, there you go, guys. I kind of made it a little bit more clearer for you. So this basically, if you leave it this way, it's going to ignore the packages from below. So it's going to count this and it's, a, it's going to ignore these packages. But whatever is not mentioned here is going to move to the hard drive. But now if you uncomment it and you leave it like this, so if I just remove that for a second, if you leave it like this, that means it will move only these packages and it will ignore everything else. So that's basically it, guys. Because, guys, don't worry. I'm going to show you this in, in real life examples. And I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how it works. So we're going to do that right now. All right, scenario one, copying all of your files externally. First thing first, we got to go ahead and jailbreak. So I'm in Lethal's new hand test. Exploit loaded good to go launching hen okay so i guess we're all set to go and I just want to show you that i kind of deleted all my apps so i just want to start fresh so be able to experiment better so i'm just going to go ahead and install a very simple app let's see maybe youtube and just to give you guys a good example of how this is going to work if at all you have a lot of apps installed just follow these steps and you should be able to get it done so even if you didn't configure the app to your ini file not a problem as you can see, YouTube is working for me perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head back to Lethal site, click on app to USB. When it loads up, it's going to give you a few warnings. Warning number one, this payload will modify the file system on your PS4. Unplug your PS4 drive to cancel. So it's going to give you another warning, apparently the last one. Okay, so now it's moving apps to USB. So as you remember, guys, we have a YouTube thing over there. So that is YouTube being moved to the external hard drive. So when you have multiple apps, all of them are going to be moved individually. I just chose YouTube because it's going to take a really long time to do it. So if you go back to the home now, as you can see, YouTube does open up with the hard drive connected. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the hard drive. So I go to devices, I go down to USB storage devices, and then I stop using this USB storage device. Okay, so now it's stopped, it's disconnected. I go back to the home, I open up YouTube now, and guys, check this out. It says, cannot start the application because data is corrupt. Well, the real reason is it's actually in the hard drive. So I'm mounting the hard drive back again, just to show you guys, and boom, it works perfectly. Scenario number two, copy selective package files into your Excel hard drive. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I do have all of these crazy apps over here, but I'm gonna go ahead and install YouTube again because that's the easiest thing to use. I know, it's my favorite app right now. So I'm installing YouTube. Okay, so you now YouTube is installed along with the other apps. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna jump back to the system. As you can see here, the YouTube package, I'm gonna delete this right now. So just delete it, get rid of it, empty the recycle bin, goodbye YouTube. But now let's open up the PS4 folder, app to usb.ini, and I'm going to do something different here, guys. I'm going to make sure we remove all the other stuff. And I'm going to tell this specifically only to copy the YouTube app. So that's the code for the YouTube app, as you can see here. 
Uh, I'm going to show that to you again. Let me just move this to the side. Okay, so there you go. That is the YouTube specific code. And now what it's going to do is now that I've uncommented that, it's going to ignore everything else except this one here. So let's save it now and jump back to the PS4. So guys, as you can see, everything is here. Now I'm going to go back. All right, so now let's go to app to USB, launching it. There you go, guys. It's processing only the YouTube app and nothing else. So as you can see that, there's no package in my hard drive. So it's copying that particular file and give it a second, complete. So you see that, guys? I'm going to go and run this right now with the hard drive connected. It works. Now let's go and disconnect the hard drive. Unmount it. Okay, now let's run it. There you go. Cannot start the application. Successful. But then you notice how only that is done and not the rest of the game. So let's go and verify this. Remember how we didn't have it? This is where we had the file, but I deleted it. Now let's go to PS4. And there it is, guys. That folder right there. Open that up. And bingo. YouTube.pkg. Successfully done. Scenario number three, save time with transferring your PKG. Okay, so for this scenario, as you can see here, I do have Need for Speed already in my hard drive, as you can see there, right there, guys. PKG, Need for Speed, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, I do have only two apps, Need for Speed and YouTube. So let's go and launch app to USB. And guys, do you see that? It's going to skip the copy and linking existing package because it's already in my hard drive. That's basically what it is. So as long as you have the PKG file already in your hard drive, remember, check USB. That's going to take care of it. And it's going to go ahead and grab that file and put it into the app to USB format of knowing where the file is and link it up as well. So it's going to run externally. All right, so we're going to go and test this out right after this. So now we are in this computer, and as you can see here, this is my hard drive. Need for Speed is no longer found anywhere over here because it's moved. Let's go to PS4, and guys, there it is. Need for Speed package is now successfully moved into the hard drive. Done. Now we're in number four, extracting a package from your PS4. Okay, for this scenario, I'm going to mix these things a little bit up. So as you can see, I do have these three games here, Mafia 3, Need for Speed, and Yakuza. So I want only Yakuza to be done, but I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to tell app to usb what not to copy. So in order to know what not to copy, I need to find the titles for Mafia 3 and Need for Speed. So let's type that down there, Mafia 3, and let's hit that search button. Kind of confusing because it has three different Mafias here. But not a problem, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to copy all three of them. All right, guys, just, just to... If you know the exact one, good for you. If you don't, better safe than sorry. So I'm going to copy the Mafia part, the first one, and copy that too. And the last one, copy that as well. Paste that in there. Now let's move on to Need for Speed Payback. Um, I'm just going to type it down, Need for Speed. Okay, so Payback is the one I have. There's only two of them. That's one there, and there's another one here. So I'm just going to copy them and paste that up. Better safe than sorry again. Okay, paste the second one too. All right, guys, so just to make this a little clearer, these are the files that I want to ignore, all right? Not to move, but to ignore. If I actually uncomment that, it's just going to move. But since I don't have it uncommented, it's going to ignore. So these are the files that I want it to ignore, the, the packages I want it to ignore. So let's go and put this to the test, guys. Save this in here. I'm going to plug my USB into the PS4 and let go. Okay, now let's go and give this a shot. Running the app to USB payload, moving the apps. So guys, notice this, all right? There you go, it's processing the app that I want to be done. So it's gonna only copy Yakuza and not the other two because we asked them to ignore it. But guys, let me tell you this, very, very important, okay? Copying these games, this game was 20 GB and it took me one hour to copy. I'm not even kidding you. So right now it's copying it and I'm gonna test out which one it is. So I'm gonna type down Yakuza 0 just to get the title ID to see which one is copying. And there you go guys, that is the one that we're copying, the same one. So it successfully only copies Yakuza 0 and not the other two. So I'm gonna give it some time, I'm gonna fast forward it. Finally it's done, let's see what happened. Let's open up the hard drive. Um, there you go, go to PS4. I did not have the Yakuza, I kinda deleted it. So now it's backing it up from scratch. There you go, guys. Yakuza 0 is back again to the way it was. A clearer idea? Boom. Done. All right, guys. Well, I really hope that tutorial was really helpful. I try to make it as short as possible, try to cover all those scenarios, but I hope it is really helpful. Okay, guys, about the Q&A. So I did notice a lot of people have been commenting, but um, most of them have been asking me some similar questions. So guys, that's what I'm going to do about the q and I know most of you guys have questions. Go ahead and put that up together in one question. Go ahead and drop me comments. Just make sure you start the question with a quotation 
question so I know it's meant for the video. And I'm gonna gather all these questions together and I'm gonna drop a video jailbreaking Q&A that is your questions and my answers from whatever I know best. And with some research in the background, I'm gonna make sure that I can give you guys the best answers for that. Okay guys, coming to the main main part that's really helpful for everyone watching this right now. Tips on making your jailbreak successful. So here's the deal. There's a lot of people using a slim PS4, some using a fat and some using a pro. And I've noticed the fat has more success rates, but however, the pros are suffering the most, having a lot of stability issues. So I've been hearing a lot of different comments, people messaging me, people commenting, mentioning different things and people, you know, saying different things across different forums. So guys, these are some tips that I've put across together. Thanks to all the comments, thanks to all the people who have actually mentioned this and taking your time to get back and let us know about this one. But I wanna share this along to everyone viewing this right now, okay? Some things that you can actually do. Step one, guys, step one. Make sure there's no external hard drive connected to your PS4 while you try to jailbreak. This has been a cause of jailbreak failed a few times with many people. All right, so step number two, before you try to load the exploit, make sure you hit the options button, go to refresh, so it's gonna get rid of the no system memory error on your PS4. Then it's gonna give you a better chance of jailbreaking. And these came from pro users, PS4 pro users. So if you're using a PS4 pro and you're suffering with some jailbreak fail attempts, try these steps out. So now moving on, if this still does not work, so this is other things that you can try that I've actually stressed in my other videos as well, guys. So guys, this is what you gotta do. Go ahead and delete the cache on all website data and then just switch off your PS4, make sure everything is off and then you just tap the power button. You heard a beep. You see the light come off, but it's gonna go off. Tap it one more time, you still heard a beep. So I'm gonna tap it one more time. Okay, so you see there's no more response anymore. So when there's no more response anymore, your PS4 has no more electricity left in it and that's a good sign. So now we're gonna plug it back in and then we're gonna try and jailbreak again. All right guys, so that's about it for this video. Um, if you made it to the end, give yourself a big pat on the back. You're awesome. And coming up next is gonna be remote play. I'm gonna drop a tutorial about that as well. And guys, I know that most of you guys are on 6.72 now. So I'm gonna drop you the top 10 games to check out in 6.72 and the top five games that's underrated for 6.72. So stay tuned for that as well and drop me a comment if you're looking forward to that video. All right guys, you have a great week ahead and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys.